Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 42 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Today we're going to talk a little bit about referrals. We talked about it during the Kelly Challenge, how to send and receive referrals and add to your referral network, and we can also do that within Command. So fourth icon down is the referral icon. We can click on that. And there are a few cool things that we can do within the command that aren't necessarily available in Kelly as well. So first off, we're going to see our uh, dashboard. We're going to see how many inv pending invites, invites we've sent out that have not been uh, accepted yet. Uh, new responses, so anyone that has sent us an invite that we haven't accepted. And then we've got some actual referrals here as well. So inbound referrals, outbound referrals, or uh, referral responses as well. So let's look at the referrals first. We can click on any one of these, inbound or outbound. It's gonna take us to that My Referrals um, kind of sub-menu, if you will, here. And it'll show us what we've got working with regards to any referrals that have come in, gone out, etc. Right now, I do not have any referrals awaiting response. So it tells me there, I've got one inbound referral that we've been working with, and we've got a, an outbound referral as well. So. You can see all of that information within My Referrals. If you want to view your closed referrals, you can click here. It's going to show you all of the categories at first, and then you can click through to see any expireds, any rejected, any that you've lost, and any that you have been paid on as well. You can go back to view active referrals, and then again, see kind of your referral network. From the dashboard, we can enter a referral to track. So I really love this addition. Although we primarily work with a lot of different Keller Williams agents with regards to referrals, there's a, you know, a rare occasion where you might get a referral or uh, send a referral to an agent outside of Keller Williams, and you can actually track that here. So I can enter their name, type in what kind of it's ingoing or outgoing, and then all of the information with regards to the referral. And then I can keep that here and kind of track that referral in-house. If I'm actually sending a referral, I can click on Send Referral, and then actually find the agent from the database, right? All 180,000, so I wanna, I don't know, send Randy Olive, right, my go-to guy. I could just find Randy, click on him, there we go, I can send a referral, and fill out all of this information as well. So that referral would then be sent to Randy through the Keller Williams referral network. On his screen, he would then have an awaiting response, he would have one showing up here with a, you know, hey, you need to respond to this referral. So that's basically um, how to send, how to receive, how to view your referrals. Of course, growing our uh, referral network is as simple as clicking on the map. And you can see, all right, let's just search by city or zip code. We talked about Boca Raton, heading there for Maps Mastery, Spring Mastermind. So let's click on that. If I wanted to see the agents there in Boca, I could just click on Boca Raton once it comes up. And I'm gonna get a random list of 923 agents that are available to service clients' needs in the Boca Raton area. We do have the availability, excuse me, to filter. So I can click on filter agents here and it's gonna give me several different options. Now I wanna say one thing, I know we're working on, you know, getting some things taken care of with these buttons down here. The filter button is kind of hidden down here. So once you say I want a Maps Mastery client that went to Mega Camp that has sold at least two listings, I can click on that and then right here at the bottom, it's kind of hidden behind Riley and the chat button. You would click on filter there and then it would show, it goes down to 16 agents now based upon that filtering that I put in. So just know uh, that that filter button is at the very bottom of that list. I'm sure that'll get addressed soon. Um, and yet here's a great way for me to filter through the agents that uh, are in the Boca Raton area that went to Mega Camp that have closed that number of transactions that I asked for them to close. Anytime we're filtering, we can always add. So Lori Scherer, sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, I could send her an invitation to join my referral network. I could always send a personalized message if I wanted, um, or I could just send the invitation just like that. Um, and if I already knew I had a referral that I wanted to send, it automatically actually pulls up the referral. I don't have one to send to her yet. Um, if I already knew Lori was in my referral network or that's who I wanted to work with, I could just click on the actual referral request button here and that would pull up the actual referral um, form that we would fill out in order to send Lori this referral. Um, one thing that I did like when you click on my network, a lot of times we have those outstanding requests, the pending invitations, if you will, to people that 
Uh, may or may not have received. Adi, I'm looking at you. Yep, not calling you out, but I'm kind of calling you out a little bit. Um, and here are the pending in invites that have gone out and not yet been received. I'll say there are some people that I've sent to within my market center that are actually no longer agents here. So I could always just come along here and click on cancel. And that'll take that referral network away so I don't have so many pending. All right, so now it's gone down to 82. So if you already know that you've sent a referral network request to somebody who is um, no longer in your market center, no longer with Keller Williams, etc., and then you could just click on cancel and that will reduce the number of pending invites that you have as well. Um, pending inbound, um, generally speaking, anybody sends me a request, I'm gonna accept that pretty quick. But if you have any pending invites, this is where that would be as well. Guys, that's the 42, 42nd day challenge, command challenge day 42 to get in, learn a little bit more about the referrals platform within command, get into your dashboard, check to see if you have any referrals working, play around in the map, filter some agents, get into your network, see if you have any pending requests either coming in or going out that you want to clean up. And uh, once you've got all that done, it's always comment done on the bottom. Guys, I hope you're in a great rest of your Tuesday and I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning.